Welcome to Swami's classroom. Today we'll learn about static equilibrium and free body diagram. It's a very important concept for any engineering student. You will learn rules and the thumb rules, what is the importance about the free body diagram and how to draw the free body diagram. We'll talk about the particle first, then we'll talk about rigid body. In particle, the forces come towards the particle or forces go away from the particle. This picture shows forces F1, F3 goes away from the particle, F2 and goes towards the particle, and the F4 is away from the particle. And some forces along the X and Y direction, some of them F2 and F1 are inclined forces. Now the equilibrium equations are some of the force in the X direction zero, some of the force in the Y direction zero. That is all the force acting in the horizontal direction zero, all the force acting in the vertical direction zero. When you say all the forces, we mean the visible force and the hidden force. The visible force called applied force that you can see. The hidden force comes from constraints and supports, uh, supports which you cannot see unless we have a nice visual diagram that shows both hidden and visible force. So such a diagram we call free body diagram. Here is an example. The particle is controlled by two cables and another cable attached with a weight. So now, typical question, you know this weight is hanging along this cable. Now these two cables, what kind of force acting on those cables? So those are the unknown forces. To figure out that, the equilibrium is very useful. So to show the particle in equilibrium, you just cut loose a particle from the surroundings or isolate the particle and show it in a diagram like this. So the particle is isolated. Now you show all the visible force, applied force, which is the weight, that is the visible force. The invisible, the hidden force, or the tension along each cable supporting the particle. So one tension is TB, other tension is TC. Show that at the same angle. It's a theta one, that is theta two, same angles are shown. Now, resolve the inclined force, the X and Y directions. The so TB measured from horizontal axis, so that Horizontal axis will be a cosine component, it's TB cosine theta 1. The sine component is other axis, which is vertical axis, TB sine theta 1. The tension TC measured from vertical axis, angle theta 2. Since it is measured from vertical axis, cosine component is along the vertical axis, TC cosine theta 2. The sine component will be other axis, which is horizontal axis, TC sine theta 2. So you have to be very careful of resolving the force to visually see how the angles are measured. So the free body diagram helps you to see all the force and resolve all the force. Once you have this diagram, very easy to apply the equilibrium equations. Now we will see the rigid body. The rigid body, I took a beam as an example. We have simply supported beam. One end is hinged, other end have roller support. You have force F1 and F2 acting at angles theta 1, theta 2. And another example is a cantilever beam. One end is fixed, other end is free. Again, you have force F1 and F2 acting. Now, these forces try to bend the body with respect to the support. So we have three equilibrium equations, some of the force in the x direction zero, some of the force y direction zero, some of the moment equal to zero. So to figure out what are the forces acting, we need the free body diagram. That will give the visual force, the visible force, also the hidden force. To have it account for all the hidden force, We'll see each 
support, hinge, roller and flex support. At the hinge, you have two hidden forts, which is reactive forts. It's horizontal reaction, vertical reaction. In the roller, you have only vertical reaction, normal to the plane of the roller. If the roller is sitting on an inclined plane, then your reaction is normal to that inclined plane. If it is a fixed support, you have three reactions, one horizontal, one vertical, and one moment. So once you have the knowledge of all these hidden forces, it is easy to draw the free body diagram. For simply supported beam, you can see that at the hinge, we have two reactions, AX, AY. At the roller support, you have one reaction. Those are the hidden force. The visible force, you have one acting at an angle theta one, measured from horizontal. So the horizontal component is cosine, vertical is sine. Whereas force you have two, measured from vertical axis. So vertical component is cosine, horizontal component is sine. So once you resolve all the inclined force and show all the reactions, that completes the free body diagram. Once you have the free body diagram in front of you, we can easily write the equilibrium equations. So that's the objective of this lecture. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy learning.